Hello my fellow comic book collectors. This video is going to be a huge unboxing video <laughs> um, from recent purchases that I made on Comic Connect. Now the reason I like to buy from Comic Connect is they have uh, buy it nows for some pretty major books and uh, it's a reverse bid where you can sort of say hey look I'm not willing to pay that price but I'm willing to give you my best offer. So sometimes you can you know get the price down a little bit more um also i found that the pricing even at the full price is usually pretty good so um with that said let's get into the unboxing open the box. i already removed all the packaging so um it won't be too bad in terms of the unboxing part so first thing is there's a bunch of slabs inside too so I'm going to tell you what I got. And so the first that I got is Detective Comics 411. Now this is kind of a major key in a way because um, it's the first appearance of uh, Tatalia Ghul, Al Ghul. And she is the uh, daughter of Raz Al Ghul. Now, the interesting thing is she made her first appearance before he did. So this, she actually appeared before he did. And um, she later becomes the mother or of uh, Batman's son, Damian Wayne. So um, she's kind of a key character. It's kind of a cool one to get. So that's Batman 411. Next, uh, Batman, not Batman, Detective Comics 411. Uh, the next one is Detective Comics 407, and this is the, the Bride of, um, of Man Bat, and um, you know, kind of a cool, cool comic, Neil Adams art, I believe, and another Neil Adams art one, this is uh, the woman that is in the other one, I think her name's Francine something. Um, I'm just trying to remember her last name. Uh, this is Batman 407, and this is where she made her first appearance. So another Man Bat kind of related one, Neil Adams. And then I got a bunch of X-Men. So I'm trying to complete a run of X-Men 1 through 20, and then get sort of the key issues through the rest of the the main run of uh, X-Men. So this is X-Men uh, 62. So now strikes Kazar. This is sort of like Kazar second appearance, I guess, in, in second appearance in X-Men, I should say, um, I believe. He made his first appearance in X-Men in um, X-Men 10. So then the next one is 60. X-Men 50, X-Men number 9. Now I've heard rumors, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, and you can tell me in the, in, in the comments below. Uh, for X-Men 9, I've actually heard that they found a warehouse uh, that had ma many copies of this in high grade, like really high grade, like 9.8s kind of level. Um, and, you know, it's actually more affordable as a result, because you know, there's just so many of these high grades. It's still an expensive book, but um, supposedly there's lots of on there. So that's X Men 9. Next one was X Men number 6. Okay, and that's a, you know, these are low grade, uh, just really to get the, the issues in my collection. The 2 5. This one's a 1 8, <laughs> and it's uh, X Men number 5. So, you know. It's a low grade, <laughs> but still, yeah. And then the next one that's a sort of a comic that I got uh, is Metamorpho number one. Now, I like Metamorpho as a character. Basically, he can control the elements and he can basically be, turn into anything he likes. So in a weird way, he's quite powerful because, you know, when he fights, uh, for example, Superman, he can turn into Krypton, <laughs> a Kryptonite, I should say. And he can, you know, he can defeat pretty much anyone because he's able to convert himself into whatever he wants. So it's a pretty cool character. 
Um, they've had him in a few of the cartoon series. Uh, just a cool character that I like. Uh, so this is his first comic series. And uh, his first appearance was in a different comic. I think it was in Showcase. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Metamorpho. <laughs> Next one. It's a bunch of slabs that I got. So this is X-Men 100. As I said, I was hunting for key issues. This issue is kind of a cool one because it's where the old X-Men, old X-Men versus the new X-Men. So um, this is like the giant size X-Men group versus the old, you know, original X-Men, which is kind of cool. I, I don't know. So X-Men 100, very cool issue to get. Sort of like um, the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Civil War <laughs> issue. Okay, so um, this is Batman 155. Uh, this is a kind of a major key for um, the Silver Age. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Penguin in the Silver Age. So it's kind of a cool cover, has a dragon, and you know, it's just, I, don't know. I, I just I really like it. Um, and it's a reasonable grade. Um, this is usually a pretty pricey book. It's actually one of the more affordable ones, though, of the first eight, uh, first Silver Age appearances. So, um, yeah, it's just a kind of a cool one to get. I always like the Penguin. And the next one is Wonder Woman 98. And this is the first Silver Age appearance of Wonder Woman. So this is becoming a really hot book right now. Um, I've seen the prices go up almost double since the movie came out. And, um, you know, normally in this kind of grade, you're looking at around $1,000. That's what I paid. Um, but I've seen the prices go up to about $1,500 for this book. So it's really become sort of hot uh, <laughs> right now. And all Wonder Woman books are really hot right now, which kind of sucks for me because I like collecting <laughs> Wonder Woman. So uh, in a way, I kind of want the movie mm, to kind of kill the prices a bit. So I could have picked up a few of these issues. But uh, oh, well, <laughs> it doesn't always happen that way. Um, so yeah, so these right now are super hot, super hot book. And next one is another X-Men. You can see that I'm trying to get a lot of these X-Men key issues. This is X-Men 141. And this is the, the storyline from Days of Future Past. So it's just a really kind of a cool, iconic cover and a cool storyline. And the last one, I got is X-Men 125. Uh, this is the first appearance of Mutant X. It has a nice Phoenix uh, cover. It's kind of cool. And just uh, I just really like the cover, actually. It's, it is a key issue, but I, I always like the cover for it. So just a very cool, cool comic. So that's X-Men 125. And that's it. That was my comic haul from... Um, Comic, Collect, uh, Comic Connect, I should say. Very good place. I recommend you check them out. Um, and uh, yeah, if you've found any books recently, uh, please tell me what, what books have you been picking up? And um, I always like to hear people's comics, uh, comments. I always try to respond to people's comments. So please uh, like, subscribe, and check out my other videos, please. Um, and leave me some feedback. I love, I love hearing about people's stories about comics. Thanks for watching.